today I'm going to introduce you to a whole new function called logarithms. So logarithms are used to solve for an exponent. So we know that 2 to the second is fourth. We know 2 to the third is 8. But what if I want to know an exponent that gives me the, the value of 6? So 2 to what power gets me 6? In order to solve, we must use this new function called logarithms. To write 2 to the x equals 6 as a logarithm, you have log base 2. Notice how the base of your logarithm is the same as the base of your exponential. Keep that in mind. Of 6 equals x. Okay, again, Logarithms, I think of logarithms as how we're going to break an x out of an exponent. And logarithms are exponents. Okay, this conversion is super important. So we have log, logarithm of base b, so your base is there, of x, of x equals a, a, I always call that the inside piece. Okay, if you remember that in order to solve for the exponent, you use your logarithm. So your logarithms are exponents. Notice that log is the exponent. And please make sure you have this conversion in your notes. This is a key conversion. You're going to be using this a lot throughout this chapter. Okay, example one, writing each exponential in logarithm form. So I have a log base 3 of 243 equals my exponent of 5. Log base 25 of 5 is equal to 1 half. So 25 to what power is going to get me back to 5? Okay, that's what logarithms are. Next, we have log base 10. When you have a logarithm that's base 10, that's called a common logarithm, so I don't need to write the base down. Log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4. So 10 to the 4th power is going to equal this 10,000 that we see in there. Log base 6 of 1 6 equals negative 1. 6 to what power? gets me 1 sixth. And lastly, we have log base A of C is equal to B. Example 2, now writing these in exponential. Okay, your base is the base of the logarithm, so 9. Your exponent is what it equals, because logs are exponents, so 9 to the first equals 9. And make sure your equation makes sense. That should make sense, which it does. Your base of your logarithm is 2, so that's the base of our exponential of 9 is equal to 512. The base of this logarithm is 8. Your exponent is 1 third equals 2. 8 to the 1 third power is equal to 2, which is true. 4 is our base, to the negative 2 is going to equal 1 over 16. b to the 0 power is equal to 1. <clears throat> okay, so for any base b, um, where b is greater than 0 and b doesn't equal 1, log base b of b is equal to 1, meaning b to what power gets me back b? Well, that's 1. And I know we have it written here. Now, logarithm of 1, b to what power gets me back 1? Anything to the 0 power is going to get us back 1. Okay? These are two properties that you want to make sure you have written in your notes because those are very important properties. And a logarithm with a base of 10 
is called a log, a common logarithm. So we don't write the base. Whenever you see that log of 5, that's an implied log base 10. Okay, evaluating logarithms now using some mental math. Okay, our first one. My base is 10. Let's set this equal to x. 10 to what power x gets me 0 0.01. Well, that's going to be the negative second power. Again, set this equal to x. 5 to what power x equals 125. 5 to the third equals 125, so therefore x equals 3. 1 third to what power gets me 9? Write them both in the same powers. So 1 third is 3 to the negative 1. Let's make x our variable equal to 3 to the third. Set the exponents equal, I'm sorry, um, 3 squared. So we set negative 1x equal to 2. So therefore here, our x is equal to negative 2. Or our logarithm equals negative 2. 36 to what power gets me back 6? Well, 36 is 6 squared. Setting your exponents equal, this value is equal to 1 half. 2 to what power gets me back 2? That's a value of 1. 487 to what power gets me back 1? The only time that you get 1 out of an exponential is if you have the power of 0. So that last one equals 0. Okay, um, short lesson for today. There are your lesson questions. Please make sure those are submitted on time.